now with this interesting seeds puzzle it's time to move on to our next puzzle o here you have to encircle the identical shadow image you can see the image of the monkey you just have to encircle the shadow image of that monkey but it should be identical try it now it's time for puzzle p write numbers from 5 to 9 in the cards below such that the row and the column have the same total can you do that just the total have to be same enjoy it now with that interesting puzzle of finding the same total it's time for puzzle q try to get the center number by doing addition or subtraction your choice for example in puzzle 1 you can see that the center number is 6 so you can either add or subtract to get 6 for example 7 minus 1 is 6 that's right and 3 plus 3 is also 6 similarly you have to fill the rest the second puzzle number is 11 and the third puzzle number is 15 have fun with numbers in joining these numbers together or taking away from something from the numbers now have fun adding and subtracting the numbers i hope you enjoyed adding and subtracting to find the total given in the center it's time for puzzle r that's right you have done a lot of work so puzzle r is write down the correct numbers in the image can you see the image yes it's an interesting one you can see some numbers in the circles you can see is equal to sign you can also see the plus sign there all you have to do is fill the correct numbers in the spaces given as you can see the center number the center circle has 15 similarly there is 6 plus 9 So six plus nine becomes fifteen. Similarly, you have to fill the rest of the circles with correct numbers so that the sum is fifteen. Have fun doing it. Now, after that fun with numbers, there is something interesting coming up for the next puzzle. It's something related to do the coins that you use to purchase. the things from the market so are you ready to have fun with coins i am sure you are so the puzzle number s has something very interesting for you because it is going to use something that you use to buy things from the market yes that is money so we will be using some coins so the puzzle says that sarita has four coins of different values 10 5 2 and 1 so each coin has different value so sarita is asking what is the minimum number of coins used to spend exactly 49 that is right so you have to find the minimum number of coins can you do that for me i can see some excitement on your faces and i see you are ready with your coins as well that is superb now come on let's find out the answer and when you find it don't forget to tell me the answer because i am also waiting for it after the fun with coins it's time to move on to our next puzzle you have to find out the value of orange yes that's our puzzle t you can see that the value of watermelons two watermelons is given and what is the value the value is 8 also the value of one orange and one watermelon is 10 so now you have to find out what is the value of orange very easy i'm sure you are jumping with the answers so come on share your answers with me that's great now it's time to move on to the next puzzle Let us play the ball game. Yes. 
we all enjoy playing with the balls, don't we? So, the next puzzle is puzzle U and it has some sub questions for you. The first one says, choose three balls in such a way that their sum will be 16. We have four balls with us and each ball has a number. Can you see that number? The first one says 2, the second one says 4, third one says 6 and the fourth one says 8. So, you have to find the answer. Very simple. Choose three balls in such a way that their sum will be 16. Quickly find it. Amazing. Now, the second sub question is choose three balls to get a maximum score. Quickly do it. Yes. I see you telling the answers there and you are so excited. You always give thrill to me. Now, it's time for the third question and that is choose three balls to get a minimum score. Can you tell me what is the minimum score with these four balls? Yes, yes, you have to choose three balls, remember? Very nice, you all are superb and you all need <laughs> A pat on your back. So do that from my side because you performed extraordinarily well today. This shows that you have done your practice and you continue to do your practice because we will come back soon with some more puzzles. Till that time, keep enjoying maths around you. Bye-bye.